everybody, it's Ancient Metaler, and I'm back again. This time, I am going to be reacting to a rum. Rum, 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 rum. This is a rum from St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's uh, made in St. Thomas. It's a blend of different Caribbean rums. So, just very, very excited about, uh, about this. And we're going to... We're going to see what, what it's like. So let's talk a little bit about this. It's Again, it's called Botany Bay. And I can't quite read what it says, so I'm going to put on my old guy glasses. All right, so Botany Bay, it's an estate reserve rum from St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. And uh, this is a small batch. This is batch 45-1-1. Dash one. Dash one. Number, bottle number 698. And let's see what it says on the back. It says, Botany Bay, a state reserve rum, a product of the Virgin Islands. Rock carvings still attest to the Arawak's peaceful existence along the gentle shores of the western end of St. Thomas. Long before the era became known, oh, the area became known as Botany Bay. By the 18th century, sugar and rum played a major role in the economy of the Danish West Indies. Rums from various estates were produced for local consumption at Botany Bay. The best rums from select estates were used to produce the finest blend. This superb product rarely left the island and was offered on special occasions to friends and visiting dignitaries. Today, we continue the tradition of craftsmanship and present Botany Bay Estate Rum, a rich and rare blend of our Caribbean rums aged in French and American oak barrels that perfectly embodies the history of St. Thomas. It's 40% alcohol by volume. It's produced and bottled by Old Estate Rums. Hmm. And they have a, a website where you can go check it out. Now, I did a little bit of looking into this. My understanding is that this is made from sugarcane. It's not, there's no molasses. It's not made with molasses. Um, and so... It's uh, it's a cane rum, and it has a bunch of uh, rums from different areas in the Caribbean, and I know it has some Barbados rum. Other than that, I'm not quite sure what else is in it. But we're going to pop it open, and we're going to give it a shot. Or I'm not. There we go. Who needs a bottle opener when you have fingernails? Okay, that's not working. Scissors. I don't want to cut myself on YouTube just to drink some rum. There's probably a place where you can. There is right here. Duh. They wouldn't make it that difficult. There's a little tab you pull. There we go. That got it. And. No fingers were lost in the process. Okay. It's got a nice little cork. Pop that. It's a rubber cork. Let's give it a, a nice little smell. Mmm. Wow. It smells like rum. But it's got really, you can smell like caramel. So I, I'm just going to drink it with some ice. Okay. There's a little water in there. Okay, I got rid of most of the water. Right. Nice healthy little pour of some Botany Bay rum. Ah, yeah. It smells like cotton candy almost. Mmm. So... velvety on the mouth as soon as i as soon as it hit my mouth i got this warm note of of caramel melted caramel like take a mar caramel candy and melt it down it's sweet it's, it's not uh it's not unbearably sweet but it is it's on the sweeter end um 
if I were to say on a scale of one to ten, where ten is the most sweet, one is no sweet, is very dry, and five is kind of the middle range, I'd probably say this is about a five or a six. Um, but oh my gosh, it's so good sipping. No burn. Mm. This is a sipping rum. This is, I would, I would not want to waste this in a cocktail. But if you did put it in a cocktail, the cocktail is going to be a little on the sweet side. So, if it calls for something like uh, simple syrup or, or uh, uh, grenadine or something like that, you might want to cut back a little bit on it. Um, just to, to compensate for the fact that this is a little sweeter than a than a regular rum, but, but you don't have any bitterness, so there's no none of that burnt molasses taste that you get from some rums. It's just it's just smooth and tasty, and it's like a warm hug, but it's cold. It's just um, this could be the best rum I've ever tasted. Right off the top of my head, I can't tell you of a, I cannot tell you of a rum that I think tastes better. A lot of rums, I, I don't want to drink them straight or just on the rocks like this. I need to mix them in something. Where this one, I just want to sip on it. This is really, really good. So I would, I give this, uh, gosh, what kind of rating should I give this? I give it a five stars. Out of five stars, I give this five stars. It's a, uh, it's imported. Well, are you importing when you're bringing something from America to America? I don't know, but uh, you can't buy it locally. I had to buy it online, so I had to go to like a mm, somebody's website, Premium Spirits or something like that. Uh, I got three bottles, and it was one hundred and seventy four dollars with shipping, and. Uh, I split that with two friends, so they're all getting a bottle. So, cheers, fellas. Um, yeah, this is the kind of, yeah, maybe a little pineapple juice. Just this and a little bit of pineapple juice. Mm, 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 that would be so good. Um, I'm just, it just makes you feel like you're in the islands, like you're sitting on the beach in uh, St. John or St. Thomas. Just incredibly good. Wow, yeah. So good. I wish I could share this with all of you, but I can't. So I'm going to enjoy this by myself. Mmm. It's it's not liqueur sweet. It's not that sweet. Um. But as rums go, yeah, it's not dry for sure. If you're in, if you don't like sweet, you you won't like it. But um. Man, yeah, it tastes like sugar cane. It's like sucking on sugar cane. That's what it's like. But it, it's sucking on sugar cane that gets you drunk. Hmm. This is dangerous. I could drink this whole thing. So that's not good. That's the only negative about it is that I don't want to stop drinking it. Anyway, uh, I love it. I thought it was great. So let me know what you think about it. If you've ever tried Botany Bay or if you have some rums that you like. Uh, this is an aged rum. I don't know how long it's aged. I, I, I forgot to write that down when I looked at the information that I found online. It is an aged drum. It's not a spice drum, so it's just a it's just an aged drum, but not a dark rum. It's amber in color, so it's it's not a dark rum. Dark rums tend to have molasses in them and have that kind of bitter taste to them, which is not a negative thing. It's just that some people like that bitterness to it, whereas this is not. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Cruzan's aged rum, like their six-year aged rum, but has a bigger, fuller, bolder flavor. There's a lot of lot of flavor in this. Bigger, bolder flavor and is and is a bit sweeter. So yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So if you if you have some comments, please leave them in the comment section for me. Uh, if you have other rums that you want to recommend that I try, um, you know, put them in the comments. I'll see what what you say and I'll, I'll give them a shot. Uh, if you've tried Botany Bay or if you know of other rums that taste similar to Botany Bay, let me know. Cause I've tried some other rums. I tried a, I have a Barbados rum in there 
that uh, it doesn't taste this good. It's not this good. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. And if you if you like this kind of content, and you want to see more of it, like the hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on this fantastic epic content that I periodically put out. We'll talk to you guys later. This is the Ancient Meddler, and have a good day, because I am.